Raise up the box and raise the game He never reads instructions Cause they're lame He's passable He plays the game so badly His eyes are twitching madly He's here again so sadly He's passable Hello, welcome back. Right, as you can see, the title, uh, the game today for the comparison video is Way of the Exploding Fist, one of the um, iconic fighting games from the 8-bit uh, era on the Amstrad, the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum. I did want to show you the BBC Micro version as well, um, which seems to be really, really um, quite a good version uh, based on what I've seen on YouTube. I do have it, or it is shown as being included on the... Um, on the files on the uh, Turbo MMC thing, but it seems to be a dead file, um, so I'm unable to show you that. So what I'll do is I'll pop a link to a video of the BBC Micro version in action in the description box down below, and you can um, check it out uh, yourself and see how it sort of compares because it is, well, it does seem to be a really um, competent version. It's just a shame that I can't show you it myself and uh, share my thoughts. Now, as ever. Um, you know, I'm just looking at these, uh, for, it's just a, from a curiosity point of view, seeing how the various versions stack up against themselves. The Commodore 64 version, I did play years ago uh, when it first came out on my mate's computer. It absolutely blew me away. I was um, very, very um, happy when it was released eventually on the ZX Spectrum, and the Spectrum version is great. And the Amstrad version, I don't know at all until I got... Um, the DDI3 thingamajig, um, so I'm new, fairly new to that one. I have a, had a, a bit of a play with it, um, just uh, to get my sort of eye in on it and see um, how it plays, etc. Um, so the purpose of it is, as usual, just to show you what the, the uh, differences and similarities are between the three versions. Um, please, please, please pipe up with your um, memories uh, of whichever version you were most familiar with um, back in the day what you think of the other versions that you weren't so familiar with. Uh, so for example, if you're familiar with the Commodore version, let me know what you think of the Spectrum and Amstrad versions, um, and vice versa um, in regards to uh, all those um, things. Now, um, there are gonna be more comparison videos to come. I've just been playing um, Bomb Jack on um, all three systems. <coughs> that's gonna be a, a comparison video that's coming up soon as well, and like I said, also, there's going to be Iridium, Commando, the Barbarian games, and some others. Um, just because I think it's it, it's really, really a nice thing to do. Um, it's very, I, f I find it really sort of interesting um, to see how um, things uh, were developed and, you know, how they, they sort of differ across their versions while still being more or less the same game. Now, there are examples of games that are totally different from one system to the next, and... Um, an example of that will be, um, I've been looking at um, YouTube videos of uh, Action Biker, the game. Now on the Spectrum, it's absolutely hopeless. It's probably one of the worst games um, I've ever played, but I've been checking it out on um, YouTube, the Commodore 64 version, and various reviews. It's a totally different game, and it seems much, 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 much better. So I'm thinking of putting those two versions side by side. Anyway. You want to see where the exploding fist on uh, three different systems. Um, remember, there's a link to the BBC Micro version um, in the description box down below. So let's get on with it. Hello, welcome back. Right, way of the exploding fist. Um, I'm going to start this. The, the running order is going to be. The, I'm going to show you it the way I actually encountered it. So um, Commodore 64 is the ver first version I ever saw or played on my mate Lee's um, Commodore 64. Then it's going to be the Spectrum, which is the version I know the best because it's the version I played the most. And then the Amstrad version, which is um, the one that I've played um, the, the least because I only discovered it about a week ago. Right, um, the first thing that is going to strike you with the Commodore 64 version, if you don't know it, is the quality of the music that um, goes on throughout the game. Let me just um, sort of turn the, com the, the uh, volume up and hopefully you can sort of... Um, um, experience that. Now the only other version that's got uh, music playing continually through it I believe is the BBC Micro version for some really really strange um, reason. It's got this kind of uh, 
if you check out the video that I've linked, it's got the um, this kind of did, 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 uh, tune um, going on through it. Um, but this game, although it was bettered um, later, and you know, games like um, Barbarian, IK Plus were much, much more fun. I think this game has got um, a place, um, a well-deserved place in um, history on the spectrum. We we didn't really have any sort of decent fighting games. There was uh, Kung Fu from Bug Fight, but that wasn't sort of very good. And then this came out and it was um, a revelation. Like I say, games like um, IK Plus came along later. Psy Combat, if anyone remembers that one, that was a brilliant game. Um, but it seems to be forgotten anyway. Rattled on enough, it's just a basic one-on-one -on -one fighting game. You can play it one player, two player. Um, the aim is to beat the opponent um, over two rounds. Um, four hits give you um, a whole yin-yang symbol and um, half hits give you a half, two halves make a whole basically and you get two whole yin yangs, that's it, you've won the round. Anyway, rabbit it on too much, let's get on with it. He says, here we go. Now this music is still iconic. Um, it's absolutely wonderful music, this is. The graphics on the Commodore 64 version are really, really colourful but they're also really, really blocky. Um, oh, he's had me. Bastard. Um, oh, I tried to roundhouse him here. Oh, shit, I've lost on the novice level. That's like losing to a, a four-year-old losing on the... Uh, right, let's start again. Right, let's uh, have that one in the mush, mate. Um, yeah, on the um, 64 version, uh, this music is just absolutely um, amazing. You know, I could listen to it for hours. It's... Um, it's a, a cracking example um, of, I always done it again, of, um, you know, the, the, the real strength of the uh, machine being that SID chip thing. Um, now, please, please, please suggest, bear in mind I am a um, 64 novice, suggest some other sort of soundtracks to check out. Um, Commando seems pretty good from what I've um, experienced of it. Um, No. Ah! It's got me again! <laughs> um, there is, this version is the only one that I know that has the um, ball bonus round where um, a, uh, after about third Dan, I think it is, um, a ball sort of like charges across the screen and you have to defeat it. Um, I've, I've never got to that on, the, on this version. Um, but like I say, it seems to be the only version it's present in. Um, really, really good, uh, fun game. Now, I did on the Target Renegade uh, comparison video um, complain quite vociferously about the fact that there seemed to be no, um, oh fuck, no um, meaty sort of sound effects when um, you your blows connected, as is being evidenced here. Um, now, someone pointed out to me that. There are two different versions of the SID chip, and that might be the, the reason why um, I wasn't getting any kind of sound effects in that game. Um, I'm playing on a Commodore 64C, which is obviously different from the, the sort of bread bin, oh fuck, um, 64. Ah, um, oh, he's, he's, he's done me, he's had, oh no, I've still got shots. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah which is um, quite sort of different, um, apparently, from the ooh, curtains for Baz, um, which is quite different from the, the SID chip used in the 64C, apparently, and that can sometimes cause um, problems. But, yeah, it's, um, it's quick, it's playable. I haven't played Wave Exploding Fist in two-player for... Um, eons, um, but I remember it being great fun. Um, so I'm all uh, right. Let's see. Let's see if I can get up to that um, ball bonus round. I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that these comparison videos go on a bit, so I don't really want to um, do another like 900 minute video um, whilst I, I wait to sort of show you something that I might never get to. So I'll just make it this. Uh, this is my sort of final go. As you can see, the quicker you um, off someone, you get um, the remainder of the 30 second round time um, ticked down and added to your score. Whoa! 
right in the mush. Oh, it's gonna end. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, I have that right in the guts. Of course, there's a, the famous roundhouse kick as well, which, you know, managing to pull off against you, mate, is... Ah, he's had me. Right, okay. That's the Commodore 64 version of Way of the Exploding Fist, an absolutely brilliant um, game. Music is, um, is, is fantastic on that. And we're going to move on to the Spectrum version. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, right, so here we are with the Spectrum version of Exploding Fist. Um, as you can see, main difference is the fighters are black and white as opposed to white and red. And it moves um, slower than the Commodore 64 version. And of course, other than the, the thumping, um, crunching uh, connection effects, um, there's only really that little uh, bell type tune uh, going on. But the game is exactly the same. The backgrounds are really, really colourful. Like I said, this is the. Um, I was really, really happy when um, the Spectrum version of. <coughs> Exploding Fist was released. It's a great game. Um, ah, ha! Uh, <laughs> continue as you started, Baz. It's a great game, and again, it was great on. Um, oh, he's roundhoused me on novice, the cheeky bastard. Um, yeah, it's it's a great game. Still significant, significantly slower, but um, it plays really, really well, and um, I'm actually playing this with a joystick which is um, unusual for me because I tend to prefer keys even on uh, fighting games. Now like I said on the Commodore 64 version um, it was bettered um, by other games. Um, it Oh he's had me and all. Um, it was bettered by other games that um, followed Barbarian, IK Plus, um, Psy Combat um, etc. But it still really, really does deserve its place in sort of um, gaming history. It's really good. That, I mean, the sprites are, are, are clearer than the, the 64 version. Um, and the backgrounds are nice and colourful, etc. Now, I'm surprised there was never kind of like an enhanced ooh, um, version released for the um, 128 Spectrum that... Um, ah, he's had me. Um, that would have um, added sort of like an AY soundtrack, etc. That would have been really, um, really welcome. But yeah, it's it's a really, really good game. The graphics are clearer than... Oh, what have I done there? I've actually somehow managed to reset it. Um, good, because I was losing anyway. So let's just have another um, quick go. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great game. Um, now, of course, it did have its sequels, Fist 2 and... Uh, Fist Plus, um, Fist 2 on the Spectrum is a, well it's very dreary, um, they've sort of taken away the one-on-one -on -one sort of fighting mechanic um, and um, turned it into kind of like an arcade adventure and it, it doesn't work, a bit like Barbarian 2 doesn't work, well for me it doesn't work, um, but I believe on the uh, Commodore 64 it's actually supposed to be really really good and Exploding Fist Plus they've um, basically nicked um, IK plus is three fighter mechanic and oh ha 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 and um, come up with a game that isn't even sort of half as playable as, as that one um, but um, yeah what what's to be said there's not a lot more you can sort of say really um, the Spectrum version is the one that I know my nostalgia bias kicks in of course the big killer um, for the 64 version is that absolutely wonderful music but this definitely matches it in terms of um, gameplay I think anyway um, I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are because obviously you know some Commodore 64 fans will um, likely think that the whole package um, trounces the Spectrum and the Amstrad versions but you know it's about how the game sort of plays isn't it um, extra bells and whistles um, are all very well but if the actual underlying game isn't um, fantastic they don't really um, matter but you know um, it's just a great game if you ever experienced it in two play you know what's your thoughts on it um, it was really sort of groundbreaking at the time I, I, I sort of remember um, and the fact that us Spectrum fans we got a good 
we've got an excellent version of the game as opposed to some tripe conversion. Um, come on, I'm going to do a sweet... Oh, you fucker. Always oh, had me. Um, was really, really um, great. Um, it got a crash smash. Um, uh, various other sort of awards from the magazines, etc. Um, and rightly so. Um, it's still a game I sort of like playing, even though, you know, nowadays it's, it's sort of very, very, very primitive. But it's still um, really, really enjoyable. Anyway, that's just a... Oh, yeah. There's, there's um, numerous backgrounds on the um, Commodore 64 and Spectrum versions as well, um, all of which are uh, quite well detailed. Like I say, they appear to be clearer on the Spectrum. Um, and the animation of the fighters is, is great. Um, fucking die. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, the animation of the uh, sort of players is great. Now, one of the things to, if you, on the later levels, if you manage to get yourself sort of ahead a and you're having a difficult fight, is to let the clock run down and try and avoid any kind of confrontation because whoever's got the most points once the 30 seconds runs down um, wins. And um, we used to have to like uh, have an unwritten rule in uh, when playing it two player that you know you could you weren't allowed to do that you had to continue to fight um, otherwise it wound the other person right up. But yeah, anyway, this is um, the Spectrum version of Wave the Exploding Fist. Um, great game. Uh, oh, we're tied. Uh, and of course, I have mentioned before when I did the uh, oh shit E one. It's a bit I've mentioned before when I did the standalone uh, review of the Spectrum version. It's a bit of a pain that um, you have to win two rounds, but the computer only has to win one um, for you to advance to the next um, round, which is uh, a bit of a pain. Anyway, that's the Specky version. Let's move on to the Amstrad. Okay, so here we are at the Amstrad CPC. Uh, version of the game. Now there's no need to revisit what the aim of the game is about. It's exactly the same as the other versions. So if this was the version that you grew up with, please share your memories of it. So let's get into it. Now as you can see it's really really colourful. Um, oh, fucking hell. Uh, it seems to move slightly quicker than the Spectrum version. Um, and what I like about it is the fact that they've tried to make an, effect, uh, uh, an attempt to make it different from the other versions. As you can see, the background it all fuck, um, in this one is um, this kind of uh, sort of temple, sort of arena sort of type thing. And the second fighter is actually dressed in purple as opposed to red or um, white as it is in um, the Spectrum version and the Commodore versions. Now... I think that colour is really, really, really uh, nice, and I like it a lot. Um, graphics a little bit blockier than um, the Spectrum version, like I said. Not much in the way of sound effects and music, as per the Spectrum version. Um, but it still plays really, really, really well. Now, there's something about the Amstrad version that sort of feels as if it's a little bit unfinished. There only seems to be this one background. Now, um, the Spectrum and Commodore 64 versions had three, and I think, I may be wrong on this though, I think even the... Um, ah, stop showing off, you bastard. Um, I think even um, the BBC Micro version has... Um, more than one background, but it seems to be just this one sort of, uh, oh dear, I've lost that, this one one on the Amstrad, and I don't know why, um, there doesn't, there's no reason that I can think of that um, that should be, um, you know, after all, I mean, if you're playing it sort of two player, you're not really sort of interested in, in what's going on, or what the background looks like, you're concentrating on your fighters, but it does, you know, serve to sort of break things up. Um, so that's a bit of a disappointment, but it doesn't break the game at all. You know, it's still playing a really, really um, nice game. And, um, you know, like I said, that it's good that they've made touches to differentiate it from the other versions, you know, um, which is really, really, really good um, and should be uh, commended for. But, uh, 
yeah, in a way the exploding fist is. Now there is a version of it, I believe, on the Commodore 16, uh, and it looks utterly hopeless. Um, there is a video of it on YouTube. Again, I will sort of link to it um, down below in the uh, in the, the sort of uh, description box thingy. Um, so take a look at that and just check that out because it does look hideous. Um, it's one of those ones where you think, well, why did you even try? <laughs> you know, because it's just that bad, or it seems to be that bad. So if you're a Commodore 64 aficionado, did you have that version? Oh, we're neck and neck going into the last now fight. So, uh, I'm not going to be able to. I was going to say, oh, yeah. oh he won. Oh, what a bastard. Um, right, so, yeah. The, in conclusion, there isn't a bad version of Way of the Exploding Fist that I've shown you. Um, I'm not going to say X is better than um, Y or Z. It's just to show you the three of them and for you to make your own conclusions. I think um, if you owned any of these three systems, or any of the four systems actually, bear in mind I, I wanted to show you the BBC Micro version as well, that you'd have been happy with whatever it was that you got. Yeah, there are differences. Yeah, we all know the Commodore 64's um, SID chip music is um, unbeatable. Um, but the actual game itself, you know, despite the Amstrad and the Spectrum versions not having that wonderful music, um, they still play absolutely um, brilliantly. Um, really, 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 really good fun. If you've never, if you're one of the two people in the universe that have never checked out Way of the Exploding Fist, or if you're fairly new to a, a love of um, retro gaming and stuff like that, and you're still discovering all the old 8-bit microcomputers, this is definitely one of the games you should check out. Um, because, you know, it's one that will pop up in conversation if... Um, people say, you know, what were the best fighting games? You know, someone was to ask you which ones you should try. Um, this would definitely, oh, well, I reasonably safely assume would be one of the games that people would recommend. But anyway, that's it. That's all three versions and a video of the BBC Micro and Commodore 16 versions uh, will follow in the description box below. If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, please, please, please take the time to join in the discussion, especially around your uh, memories, how you think these versions compare up against each other. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.